Hi YouTube friends, it's Anna. Today we are going to talk about ESTJs, what I as an INFJ think and feel and have experienced with and about ESTJs. And uh, this is an interesting type for me because there's definitely a lot going on in the dynamic between me and ESTJs. Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of experiences with them and they play a significant part in my life overall. And that being in a, both a positive and negative way. Um, if there is one type that is the most supportive, like that has shown the most support of me, it is the ESTJ. They are my number one supporter in life. Um, for example, I have a grandfather who has a very um, specific character, a very strong character. And I would say he is generally not a person that is liked by a lot of people. He has really strong criticism about everybody and that kind of stuff. Um, but when it comes to me, like whatever I do, whatever mess I make of my life, my grandfather always finds a way to um, like make a good story of it. Like, it's kind of like, like I am his favorite grandchild and um, he, he just supports whatever I do and he puts it into this narrative of, um, yeah, like look at her, how much progress she made in her life, how much she uh, has grown and he's always thinking that... Um, yeah, I will have a very good future. Um, I know he specifically cares about status in that, so I think he believes I will definitely make something of myself in status, even when I spent quite a lot of my um, years traveling and doing that kind of stuff. Um, so somehow magically he always thinks I am doing the right thing and when I compare that to what my other family members are doing and how he reacts to that it really feels like he has a specific thing for me um, so yeah it's all the kind of support I receive from ESTJs is almost a kind of favoritism it's also something that I've experienced in friendships and with other family members that will remain unknown. Um, so the dynamic, it often feels like um, ESTJs, they choose me to um, be like their closest Confidants, maybe. Um, for example, there was an ESTJ that really was struggling with her environment and um, yeah, with people around her. And I was also in that environment, but she decided that I was one of the few good people in that situation. And she trusted me and she... Um, also trusted her thoughts about other people to me. And also the negative crap about other people she trusted me with. Um, so yeah, ESTJs really seem to trust me. That's also another thing. Altogether, ESTJs seem to be really big fans of me. And... For one thing, I realize what kind of advantage that gives me in my relationship with them. Um, because, for example, 
this may be a real life example, if I went into a job interview um, <clears throat> and the person interviewing me is an ESTJ, that will probably um, mean that there are really good results for me in that interview because ESTJs, they just instantly like me. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, so even when I feel like I'm not doing that well or anything or, you know, I'm pretty insecure and stuff, ESTJs, they're like, yeah, you are, you are so cool. Even, even with your insecurity, um, it's like they can really see the strength in me or something. So that's the really, really positive side of ESTJs. Um, also a very positive aspect about their support is that they really lift me up and motivate me to do things. Like for example, um, if I were to start a YouTube channel, which obviously I already did, but imagine that I was in that situation that I was considering starting a YouTube channel, but I was thinking that probably nobody would like it and um, it wouldn't get any views and like I'm not good enough at talking anyway. There could be an ESTJ um, if I if I started talking to them about this idea, they would really be like, you should really do that. I think you would be amazing at that. Um, and like whatever. Also including your insecurities, whatever, because people like to see that vulnerability. Like that would be a hypothetical situation because that's how supportive ESTJs generally are of me. Um, ESTJs and INFJs, like that's a combination in romantic relationship that's in general considered to be a good one. But I never could be with an ESTJ romantically. And that has something to do with what I am going to talk about next, which is that I feel ESTJs are really almost always kind of selfish. They're really self-centered. Um, they really like to talk about themselves and they have very narrow perspectives a perspective of how they think things should be. They also, um, yeah, they're not so good at doing self-reflection, the ones that I've met. Um, but there's a very particular area in which their selfishness manifests, which is also an explanation of how it happens. Because ESTJs are really bad at understanding and considering other people's feelings. They are very much in touch with what they feel themselves, um, but they really just have a blind spot, basically, for how their words, how their actions are affecting other people. So they may definitely show compassion if you talk with them about something that is bothering you, um, if you show like emotion to them, they will often be very uh, be a very good friend and comfort you, etc. But when it comes to their own actions and their own words, they can be really um, inconsiderate, like really, really bad, um, and they can hurt a lot of people, and yeah, never never even know about it. Um, so ESTJs, they have very strong morals. They, they often have this very strong idea of how things should be. Um, and it can be quite narrow. Um, the thing is that me, myself, I also have kind of a moral idea of, um, of what is important to me, the, like the values that I have for myself, for treating other people, for things that I find important in the world. And often I find that these morals 
clash with ESTJs? Well, maybe let's get a bit theoretical, because for ESTJs, having strong moral values is like a basic thing. It's very natural for them, and it like default, they will have very strong moral values. Um, most INFJs, they will not have that as much, and they will lean on other people, on, on friends and people that they admire and partners. Um, yeah, they kind of to find the inspiration for what moral values to follow themselves. So I, an INFJ might kind of lean on the moral values of an ESTJ if they like admire that person, especially, or if they have, um, yeah, or if they are closer to them. But for me, with how my life went and stuff, and perhaps also how I am naturally, I also have quite strong moral values myself, like things that I <laughs> find important in the world, things that I value uh, in how I deal with other people, that kind of stuff, things that I find, um, yeah, things that hurt me, how they happen in the world, that kind of stuff. And so, um, for one thing, like the behavior of ESTJs may not match up with my personal moral values because I find it very important to consider other people and like self-reflect and be aware of um, yeah what your behavior is doing to other people. And ESTJs are very bad at that. So that's clashing. But then secondary um, or second thing is that the morals that I have, the moral values that I have and the moral values that the ESTJ have has um, may not be matching up in that. So I feel like, just to summarize, I feel like my particular being, my history, my upbringing made it so that I clash too much um, Yeah, in some aspects with ESTJs to get really, really close to them. Um, because I'm just, I'm bothered too much by some of their selfish behaviors. Yes, yeah, so um, apart from all of this, I have noticed that there have been a few people on my path that I identified as probably ESTJ that really, really triggered me. Um, and I don't know why that is exactly, but like the most triggering people in my life, particularly one person. Um, yeah, they were ESTJ. And perhaps that had to do with their lack of self-reflection. So wait, let me say first that what I mean I was triggered, it was, it was not like, oh my god, they're so annoying or something. It was really that they did something um, very bad to me and I, and I got a kind of trauma from that situation. Um, also considering that, that I was still a child when that happened. Um, so back to explaining why I think ESTJ could make sense for that is because they are so bad at reflecting on their own actions because they're so focused on their personal experiences and feelings. And secondly, they're also generally quite narrow-minded, the ESTJs that I've met. So that kind of makes for a good combination um, to potentially result in some bad things. Um, well, whatever, I don't know. Maybe it's not even related to type, the fact that um, I've had su such bad experience with this type. 
or this person. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to say about ESTJs. And again, I really appreciate their support. And also, like, wow, you you were so such a fan of me or something. And yeah, I can definitely use that. And I'm thankful for that. But also, you guys are selfish. At least the ones that I've known. So, I don't know. If you are an ESTJ, I would appreciate if you would work on that. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, like and subscribe if you feel like it. Definitely also leave a comment if you feel like it. Uh, because I love reading comments. Because it makes me feel so much closer to my viewers. And it's... Feels much much more personal, and I and I get a feeling for who I'm talking to actually. So um, see you next time. Bye.